Hi everyone. Uh, this is a quick video about two different kinds of, I would say, using prayer as a manifestation tool. Um, both of these have some connections to traditional cultures, and I'm going to be using this uh, little tea light candle kind of to talk about it. During times of upheaval, like the pandemic, it's normal for people to need to reach out um, in a spiritual way to ask for what they want and need. And there are some different ways of doing this that have parallels in magical and pagan practice as well as in um, traditional cultures. So the first is, and if we look at like this candle as being um, the medium for the prayer, and you could just as easily use tobacco or um, coca leaves if you're in the Andean tradition, or whatever you use, is that the this uh, or, or herbs that you want to work with if you're working with herbs for healing, is you want to talk to the candle first, or the herbs or the tobacco, um, praise it and tell it what ask for what you need. So there's a tradition of basically um, like I like to carve. Um, symbols into candles sometimes and light them. And when I'm doing that, um, I might be thinking about um, what I need. Or when I'm praying with tobacco, I'll um, often um, praise tobacco for all the wonderful things it's um, brought to people, the miracles I've seen it do, and then um, and thank it. And then after that, um, I may ask for um, what I need. But there's another way of looking at it. This is also traditional, but it has a parallel in magic of asking or talking to um, the candle or the tobacco as if you've already received what you need. So this is a little bit like law of attraction, where basically you would um, use the candle or herbs or whatever you're working with or tobacco, and you thank these beings for everything that is positive in your life, and then you also thank them for the things that you're asking for as if it's already happened. Um, this is a powerful way of working because if it doesn't do an, like any other thing, it at least not only strengthens your um, my gratitude, but it strengthens my intent, my magical intent, which is the ability to line up um, what I want in my heart, my actions, and my, um, my mind or will. So um, if for no other reason, it will definitely strengthen my intent, my magical intent to do it this way. Sometimes in a time of upheaval, it can be a little easier to ask for what you need than to imagine that it's already here and thank, and, and thank your helping spirits for it. For other people, it might be the exact opposite. Asking for what you need is the hardest thing to do. So I'm basically just talking about these two things today as a way of kind of um, exploring the magical aspects of prayer um, through whatever medium you use, whether you work with herbs, um, whether you work with candles, or whether you um, work with tobacco. There are also some um, rituals, like candle burning rituals, that weave symbols of the thing that you're wanting to attract, whether it's love, money, protection, into the actual um, herbs that you might dress the candle with. And so that's an added layer of like visualizing that the thing you want is already here. And you know, the action has already happened and you're basically just thanking the, um, the spirits for, um, for fulfilling your needs and allowing um, us to continue to be powerful and live and, and have our lives. So uh, just a few thoughts and I'm curious to see what you might think. Blessings.